Okay, hi guys. It's me, Simon Alexander, and uh, welcome to my channel again. First, I just want to thank you all for the amazing response on my previous video. I was not expecting to get that many comments about what you thought about my channel or you think about my music, and I just appreciate everything. It's amazing. I've read it. I've read it all, and I heard you guys what you want and uh, what you don't want. And I, I can't, um, I can't meet you all, but but I can do what I what I want to do. I thought I'd start off this uh, playthrough series and start it with the song you requested the most, which is Hollow Wine Grove. <coughs> I can't even say the name. I won't be doing a live session today because I have a bit of a sore throat. So I'm just going to show you how to play it. If you want to then please do upload covers of it. I had this guy once who did a cover of uh, Won't Be Found. I can link it in the, the description. It's amazing. I love seeing covers. So please upload them and send them to me, if you do. If you wanna skip ahead to when I actually start playing, I can leave a timestamp in the description because I'm just gonna respond to some of your questions regarding that song first. So if you're not interested in that, you can just skip ahead to uh, whatever timestamp is written in the description. One of the things that many of you have asked for is to get Hollow Wine Grove up on Spotify and iTunes and Apple Music and yeah, whatever platform you use to stream music. And my answer to that is maybe. It might be up eventually. Many of you guys come from other channels, other YouTube channels, because you heard one of my songs there. The thing is, I'm a signed artist on a label since April this year and if I were to upload Hollow Wine Grove on Spotify and iTunes um, the risk is that these people that have used this song might get in trouble. They, they might get copyright strikes, they might get demonetized and stuff like that and I really don't want that to happen because I, I owe so much to them. Like um, Mike from Totally Awesome Outdoors, or uh, Kevin from Camper Van Kevin, Sean from My Self Alliance, or the guys over at Essential Craftsman, and um, and of course Marie's room. I mean, many of you guys found my music through these people, and I don't want to cause them any trouble. I might be able to find a way to get the song uploaded uh, without causing any trouble, but as of how it looks today, I think that is uh, quite difficult. But I have my hopes up, you know, and I would obviously love to have it up on uh, all streaming ser streaming platforms for all of you to hear. Um, but I can't promise anything as of now. So you have to listen to it through YouTube or you can download it for free on Bandcamp and uh, put it in your phones. Do whatever you want with it. The other thing I want to address is um, the lyrics. Some of you guys have wondered, what is it about? What's the meaning? What's the origin? Whatever. Hall of Wine Grove is something that I had on my mind for a long time. I just stumbled across uh, the word Hall of Wine. It means that it's a wine that have a beginning and an ending, but lacks a middle. So in a sense of taste, it happens something when you start drinking it, and uh, it also gives a different kind of taste in the end. I just took that word and started applying it on like emotions and applying it on what I, what I would call like tougher days, you know? Everybody has bad days and you don't really know why, you don't really have an answer to it and you don't know how to get through them. But they begin and they end, but in the middle it's just this nothingness in you and you don't really have an answer to it. So I wanted to write a song about it. Um, which became Hollow Wine Grove, because I, I imagined it to be a place in, in a state of mind, or I imagined it as a, a, a place deep in the forest, you know, something like that. I actually started to think about a whole concept around um, surrounding uh, this Hollow Wine Grove. So if, if you read the lyrics to White Light and uh, uh, Home as well, my latest song I just put up, you can understand that the things I sing about in those songs also apply on Hollow Wine Grove and the concept around this song. So my first intention was to release a full uh, EP of it. I don't know if that will happen. Maybe it will happen. We'll just get to see. But that's kind of, in a sense, what the song is about. I want you to be able to find whatever meaning you have in the song. 
I don't want I don't want a song to be just straightforward. I just want people to find whatever they think uh, is interesting in it. Okay. Okay, so I haven't done any of these playthrough videos before. I'm not sure how the sound will be. I don't really have a recording, you know, a good like recording uh, device right now. I'm doing this on my cell phone. So we'll have to see how it turns out. Okay, so I'm gonna place the tuning somewhere on the screen here. And I'm just gonna go through it, tag along with me. So it's all about the pecking pattern here. It's no difficult chord progression whatsoever. When you're done finishing your tuning, it should sound something like this, which is already beautiful. So it goes something like this. That's for the verse. Then it heads on to the bridge, which goes something like this. And back. And then we head on to the second part of the song, which is quite different. You head up to D, C, all right, nothing else, but just those two. For the other half, you go full on. And back to this. play hollow wine grove more or less okay this coffee is cold now so thank you so much for watching um, I hope that you enjoyed this playthrough and you learned uh, something out of it 
If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll respond as soon as I can. And uh, which song would you like to see next? Until then, have a great weekend and um, yeah, cheers.